Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to have you here and if you are new, my name is Leanne and I am so grateful that you wanted to see what my video was all about. So today we are going to be reviewing the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. At least it's easier to say than the Shape Tape if you say Tarte in front of it. Those of you who know me know the mistakes that are made. This is Tarte's attempt at basically a comeback after their Shape Tape Foundation debacle. If you are not aware of what that is, they came out with two formulas of the Shape Tape Foundation. It was hyped up beyond belief. Everyone loves their Shape Tape. And when they came out with a hydrating and a matte version, people expected it to be as good or better than the Shape Tape. The problem is, is they came out with crap shade range that did not include people of color, and it wasn't okay. <laughs> it's not okay in this day and age for foundations to not include people of color. It wasn't okay back then either, but it's especially not okay in today's day and age. By the way, we'll attempt to get through this video without lipstick on my teeth. It may happen. I'm sorry. Now, the original foundations were amongst the general consensus, a big flop. I did have the hydrating one, and I enjoyed it. It wasn't the best foundation I ever tried. I never reviewed it on my channel for obvious reasons. I had bought it as soon as it launched, and then I realized that everything that had happened. So I never reviewed it on my channel. So now they have the face tape foundation. And let's take a look at it. The other foundation was a giant doe foot applicator in a glass bottle. This has a similar aesthetic to it. It is indeed a plastic bottle and it does come with a pump, which I know that the majority of the population prefers. This time though, they do have a 50 shade range with five different undertones, which I think is good. Is it too late though? I think the public will determine that. Let's read up according to what Ulta has to say about the foundation. And of course it is both a Tarte and an Ulta only exclusive. It is inspired by Tarte's iconic Shape Tape Concealer. This long wearing full coverage foundation mattifies, hydrates, and brightens your appearance. That alone sends alarm signals up. I don't see how something can be mattifying and hydrating. They bottled up your skin smoothing filters, selfie settings, and Instagram feedback to create the foundation of your dreams. Plus, this baby comes in 50 shades with five undertones. Now, it can be a little time-consuming finding your shade range. I think I did a decent job. Of course, I am wearing it now, and as I'm talking over this, you are going to see me applying it as well. And this will be a short a uh, wear test because I do have to run out and do some errands even though it is some four o'clock in the afternoon. What it does, long wearing full coverage with a natural matte finish, transfer proof, waterproof, and sweat proof to keep you flawless through work and play. Snow mushroom extract, apple fruit extract, and hyaluronic acid hydrate and brighten appearance pair with shape tape concealer for the double the perfection. Of course they want you to use their concealer. Based on a consumer perception study, 100% said it helped minimize the appearance of pores, 100% said it covered dark spots and redness and imperfections, 97% said it helped skin look smoother, 97% said it felt comfortable and gentle on the skin, 97 what is it with the 97%? Said it felt lightweight and in, like it allowed the skin to breathe, 94% said it made skin look natural and healthier, and 94% said it felt nourishing. It is supposed to be a 12-hour foundation. And I'm going to let you know my thoughts on all of those claims at the end of the video. It is, of course, vegan, hypoallergenic, 12-hour hydration, I guess, along with the 12-hour staying power, transfer proof, waterproof, and sweat proof. I won't be able to determine that one unless I take it to the gym or the summertime comes. Now here, you, I'm going to put the actually the shade range up here instead of just showing you on my phone. And yes, they did improve upon the shade range, absolutely. And I said, finding your shade can be a little tricky. I am in the shade 29N Light Medium 
neutral, which is usually what I would go for. If I could find that name in any other foundation, uh, that's what I would grab because I do have neutral undertones. As far as my skin type, I have mature skin. I do have fine lines and wrinkles. I am not oily. I mean, occasionally I'll get a little bit of oil on my nose throughout the day, and I do mean occasionally, especially in the winter, but I have normal on the dry side. My cheeks always feel tight by midday. So as I was applying the foundation, I think it is a very decently full coverage foundation. It goes on and is opaque rather quickly. I did use my microfiber sponge and I applied it and I think you can thin it out. I applied it very heavily because I wanted to see how heavy I could go with it before it getting cakey. I think the shade match is pretty good. It's a little on the yellow side and yet when I finish putting it on it really doesn't blend in seamlessly. I did have to blend it up by my hairline a little bit just so that I didn't have any white lines around there whatsoever. It did not immediately settle into many of my lines. It did not cling to any dry patches. It did go on a little kicky around my nose, but I do have that problem most often with most foundations. All of my other products, my powder products, applied very nicely on top of it. I can tell you it did not dry down immediately. It still felt tacky to the touch after. And now that I have powder on, I can tell you it still feels tacky to me. I don't see how this would be transfer proof uh, at all. Yeah, when I touch my face, my face feels moisturized, but I'm telling you, I still feel that tack. And if you look, I do have foundation on my hands. So right off the bat, I'm not thinking that it's going to be powder proof. Yes, of course, I did put a setting spray on top of it, but that should really seal it in more in my opinion. So this is the look that I have. I know I'm just running to go get some groceries. I'm a little made up for that, but I'm a little extra anyway. And do I have lipstick on my teeth? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Comes with the territory. So what I'm going to do is I may even take you to the store with me. I really haven't decided yet, but at least I'm going to show you in the car in natural light. Before it gets too dark outside, I want to show you what this looks like in natural lighting. And then I will try to stay up as late as I can. We are expecting a snowstorm tonight. I don't know if there's going to be school tomorrow, but we shall see. And I will see you guys. For me, it's going to be a few hours, uh, but I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Hello everybody, it is me. I am just in my car getting ready to go pick up a few things. It is just starting to snow now. So lightly you can barely even see the snowdrops falling, but you can certainly see them on my windshield. So I just wanted to give you guys a natural light view. It's a little, I mean there's no sunlight, but let's just zoom you in a little bit so you can see what my skin is looking like. That's the wrong way. So you can see the color is really good. It's sitting nicely. I notice it's just a little collected in here, but I kind of smoothed that out with the beauty blender and it seemed to do okay. It's setting well around my eyes. Uh, you can see just a little bit, a little bit thick around my nose. That could be my fault because when I use my microfiber sponge, it goes on. The application is very heavy, but that was what I was looking for today. You can see, not really bad in my smile lines or anything like that. Uh, by the way, let me, okay, let me just zoom you back out. Okay, there we go. Uh, I pulled my hair back and I changed my lipstick because that lipstick was all over my teeth and I couldn't take it anymore. So I just threw on my Ofer Atlantis lipstick, which I really like. Um, I wish I could like take you with me and talk while I drive, but I don't have a mount for my car and I'm not doing anything dangerous like that. So I may vlog a little in the store and I'll see you guys in a little bit. of stuff but they have nothing on sale this week except buy two get one free 
I like to buy makeup when it's on sale. Hey guys, how are you? Um, sorry, I wanted to do this a bit longer, but it's been a very stressful day and I'm exhausted. What time is it? Hold on. Oh my goodness. It is currently 9.24, if you can see that or not, but it's 9.24. And I just pulled up the website again so we can go over some of these claims and see how they hold up. And I'm also ho hoping that my editing skills are good enough to do what I plan on doing in this video, that being a voiceover, and because I kind of did it a little backwards than I normally do. Let's keep your paws crossed for uh, my learning some editing skills, <laughs> regardless of that. Okay, so it says, based on consumer perception study, it said 100% said it helped minimize the appearance of pores. I think it went, I don't think it sat in my pores. Um, I don't know if it minimized them, but I think it sat well on my skin. And then we're going to, by the way, we're going to do it at the close up. Don't worry. Said it covered, 100% said it covered dark spots, redness, and imperfections. I think it does have very good coverage. As I said, the way I laid it on, I thought it covered up everything, a multitude of sins, and I didn't really have to go in heavily with any concealer, except, of course, underneath my eyes. 90% said it helped skin look smoother. I think my skin looked pretty smooth. It felt comfortable and gentle. Yeah, I really don't feel it. Lightweight and allowed skin to breathe. Mm, I don't know. It feel it's. I don't know how lightweight it is. Again, I did pack it on, so we'll see. Made skin look natural and healthier. Not natural. No, you do look like you have foundation on your skin, but it just looks like a good natural foundation. Do you know what I mean? Oh, though I just contradicted myself. You look like you have makeup on, but in a good way. Nourishing. I don't think it felt nourishing. No. I can say that, again, per usual, no, I have not touched up at all. I didn't even bother putting on lipstick for this. Per usual, with every foundation, I get dry right around here. And my cheeks, I'd say right around this area, you can see more of my wrinkles. Like when I smile, you can see more of the lines. So that's pretty typical. But if I was wearing a very matte foundation, that would have happened, I think, immediately. So it is no different than any of the other foundations that I wear and how they react. So I've only had this on about five and a half hours, which is less than a work day. But honestly, when I looked in the mirror, I was very happy. I mean, I have an itchy nose. I would probably touch up my nose and right here, I'll just take my compact and powder here and here. It does feel tacky. Um, I still do not think it's transfer resistant or transfer proof. I haven't tested whether or not it's waterproof. I was not about to splash water on my face. It was snowing. It is snowing. It just started to snow when I went out. Although I can say one thing. I have been touching my face a lot and it still does look good. It hasn't really worn off. Let me just zoom you in. Okay, we're really up close and personal here. I just want you to look. I mean, my makeup held up. My make, yeah. It held up well on top of the foundation, the powder products. As you can see. Take a look at my forehead. No real, like, creasing or anything. As you, you can see a little bit of shininess here. And my nose is a little bit shiny. And maybe my, my chin. But, um not really that bad. Honestly, I still think that it looks pretty darn good. It's just a little dry here, but that's so normal for my skin on a daily basis, no matter what foundation I'm wearing. If I had to, aside from a little powdering, I would definitely go out like this. I said especially that I've been touching my face a lot. And you notice my smile lines don't look bad at all. Okay, let's zoom you back out. Too close. So let me know what you guys think. Here's the foundation again that we were talking about. I'm going to continue to use this. This is not the first time that I've worn this. I've been testing it out for, rude, for about a week. And 
in my opinion, I think that I really like this and it is a foundation that I am going to continue to use. I'm very, very happy with it. I think they got it right. It may be too little too late to save their butt as far as the company is concerned, but I'm glad that I have it. I will continue to use it. I think it will work for those of us with dry skin. I cannot speak to somebody with oily skin. Again, if you have oily skin and you've tried this, please let us know down below. Maybe you can help someone else who is wondering about that as well. I never did mention, by the way, that you were getting 1.014 fluid ounces, so just slightly over an ounce, which is very, very typical and standard. So this is my review, guys. Again, let me know what you think. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If you have any questions about anything, please leave it in the comments below. I love talking to you guys in the comments, as you know. And I hope whatever part of the world you are in, on and around, I hope that it is an amazing day. And I hope you have an amazing week. If you have snow like I do, pause your cross. Pause your cross. Do you see why it's time for me to go to bed now? Uh, keep your fingers crossed for me that maybe I will have a day off tomorrow, a snow day. If so, I'll do some more filming. <laughs> uh, good night, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Much love. Bye.